From you wake up every morning Use a winner, yeah What going on guys, it's the girl Razor in the brrrr d d zing Today is a very interesting, not really interesting But I just wanted to say that But in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys the new things that I have implemented into my hair routine, hair regimen Whatever you want to call it if you guys have been keeping up with my videos, you would know some of these things because I kind of like pitch them in from time to time but don't really spend too much time talking about them. In this video, I'm going to put all these things in one so you guys can come back to this video so you guys won't be confused when you see me try different things that you've never seen me try before. You know, I'm open to change. Nothing is wrong with changing. Nothing is wrong with adding things in and taking them out and doing things that I said that I would never do. Wait, do you guys like my hair? So this is actually a twist out and I put it into a puff kind of situation right here. So I put a ponytail holder around my hair and I just pinned it around so I can get this big puff look and I slicked down the edges. I mean, this isn't what the video is about, but I know some of you are going to wonder. <laughs> First thing, I started detangling my hair in the shower and you guys notice this is something that I did not do and something that I actually hated doing because I hate detangling my hair when I cannot see what I'm doing but now I'm detangling my hair in the shower while it's wet so as the water is running through my hair I'm going to detangle my hair with a wide tooth comb I need to do an updated wash day video for you guys because that has changed as well when I get into the shower I get my hair very saturated with the water and then I'll detangle my hair with a white tooth comb. So the person who inspired me to do this, I had to look for her Instagram. I'm not sure what her YouTube name is, but I am subscribed to her YouTube, but I'm not sure what it is. But for her Instagram, it's xolovelifexo. If you guys follow her on Instagram, her hair be popping. Hey girl, hey. After giving it a try, my hair is so much more easier to detangle. I'm less tender headed. I have gotten less knots. And my hair has just been overall so much easier to manage. Wash days are also a lot quicker products are evenly distributed throughout my hair properly i mean i still finger detangle in my routine of course but specifically when i'm in the shower i have to use a white tooth comb to detangle my hair prior to shampooing and conditioning you guys have also been seeing me use combs to detangle my hair while i deep condition as well um i haven't been seeing breakage Matter of fact, my hair, as I said, like everything, your girl is living a fast-paced life. Like everything is going fine, dandy, quick, easy. Like, wow, I don't know what that was just now, but <laughs> yeah, I just love it. <laughs> what can I say? Okay. Another thing that I have been doing, I think I mentioned this in a comment to reply to one of you guys, but I didn't like tell you guys much about it. So, instead of using pipe water or water from the faucet to put in my spray bottles, I actually used bottled water. Well, purified bottled water. Because if you guys do not know, hard water can do to your strands. It can leave a lot of buildup of minerals that can end up breaking your hair unless you have a water filter on your shower head most times it's hard water that's coming out of your shower that can be very detrimental on your hair for some of us it can leave us with a lot of breakage a lot of product build up and our hair can just feel heavy and clammy and dull you guys should know what product build up is and what it can do to your hair and what it feels like the water we use in our hair can cause that i cannot get a water filter right now for my shower head since the damage may have been done from my shower i don't want to continue damaging <laughs> my hair so I use purified bottled water in my spray bottles and it's usually room temperature water. So since doing that, I've noticed that my hair is a lot softer. Products don't just sit 
on my hair anymore my curls are hopping especially when I spray my hair with the water this is something I would definitely recommend you guys to try that's something new that I've started doing well it's not really new I've been doing this since probably two years ago <laughs> Wow, Raisin, and I'm only now telling you guys. I feel like I told you guys this before, didn't did I? If I didn't, I'm so sorry. But I, I swore I did. I forgot to also mention that since I've been using the purified water, you guys know I have low porosity hair. The water is easily penetrated into my hair better versus using the pipe water. So another thing that I started doing that I probably don't do enough of is changing up my parting routine okay let me explain so you guys know when i usually part my hair i usually do the four sections one straight down and one straight across and into the cross section in part in parting thingy i started changing up the way i part my hair because i've been noticing in this the areas that i do part slightly has some breakage it makes sense that it does because I'm constantly parting my hair in those areas it makes a lot of sense that those areas will start to slightly break off and look the way they do and have like distinctive parts in my hair so it'll make sense to change it up from time to time to prevent that for example even with the side part i distinctively have a side part in my head because that's how i usually part my hair imagine how the other areas in my head looks because i'm always parting my hair that way so for instance i notice when i do certain styles like wash and go braid outs or twist outs in those areas would not be as full because of the way that i consistently part my hair so changing it up from time to time would not hurt you know it's okay so that's something that i've been wow how much times am i going to be saying that's something that i have been doing but yes that's something that i have been doing while trying and that's something we're going to do consistently okay i know i told you guys about this one for sure for sure for sure for sure but i started deep conditioning my hair with heat this is something that i never ever really used to do i was a fool and i was really missing out i'm so mad at y'all for not telling me about deep conditioning with heat like why y'all just left me hanging like why didn't i know and one major thing that i have noticed since deep conditioning with heat is that the products are penetrating into my hair a lot better than usual well without heat and ever since doing that the curls have been <laughs> popping okay the curls have been in your face in the building <laughs> my hair looks a lot healthier it's a lot stronger I don't feel like deep conditioners are now just sitting on my hair granted if I don't use heat I'll put on a shower cap um, a plastic bag I'll put on a cotton um, towel or like a bonnet or um, so everything to just keep the heat trapped in my hair but I mean it's just easier using heat it's just easier going under the dryer or using a blow dryer heat cap attachment. <laughs> you know, you guys need to try it if you haven't tried it already. 30 minutes is the usual time that I do. Sometimes 15, so but it's usually 30. Next on the list for things that I started doing is, I mean, this is something that I have started doing for a long time now, but I do not sleep with ponytail holders in my hair. I do not sleep with hair pins in my hair like anytime i go to sleep my hair has to be free of anything tight that can pull my edges out y'all just imagine that ripping and tugging and like i know some of y'all sleep crazy so just imagine a ponytail holder just doing all of that with you in your hair rubbing across the bed like that's doing more harm than good so i don't care what style i have in i'm not sleeping with ponytail holders period because i want my edges i don't know about y'all but i want mine because the older i'm getting the harder they are to keep so these bad boys are here to stay 
some no ponytail holders as I like. Doing this next new thing that I started doing. I mean, it's not really new. It's just I probably never really told you guys about it. But when I wear my hair in twists, that's the perfect time for me to actually dust. I dust my ends pretty often, especially when I'm wearing twists. So this is the twist out, as I told you guys. And prior to unraveling them and taking them out, I dusted a few of my ends, especially the ones that looked very raggedy and had a lot of split ends and single strand knots and just didn't look uniformed with the rest of my hair. And that's how I've been, been able to keep my hair looking very thick as well. It's not a huge amount most times. If your ends look bad, they feel bad, just cut it off. And since I wear my hair in twist a lot, I'm able to see them a lot better and notice when they're there. So I have to cut them out. So wearing my hair in twists, that's the perfect time for me to dust my ends. As I said, not much. We're not trying to trim. We're just trying to dust the ugly ends away, especially on the ends ends of my twist. Some of you already noticed for sure because I recently did a video on this where I elaborated a lot more than I'm going to do in this video. But I recently added supplements into my routine. I'm taking three main ones, which are MSM, Moringa powder, and collagen peptides. So check the cards because this is a recent video and I did elaborate a lot more in that video. So go and check it out. Some of these things are probably new to some of you. But I just thought that I would just put it in one video so you guys can know what has been going on on with me and my antics of what's going on with Razor's hair well what's going on with Jermaine thank you guys for watching hope you enjoyed the video see you in the next one bye